In kidney transplantation, flow cytometry cross-match, physical cross-match, and virtual cross-match, there are techniques used to assess the compatibility between the donor and the recipient, focusing on the risk of rejection due to donor-specific antibodies. So here's a breakdown of each. Number one, complement-dependent cytotoxicity. So this is the traditional physical cross-match method where the recipient serum is mixed with the donor lymphocytes and complement is then added to see if cell lysis occurs, indicating the presence of cytotoxic antibodies. So it directly assesses the ability of the recipient's antibodies to bind and destroy donor cells. So its advantage is that it's well-established tests that identify highly toxic antibodies that can cause immediate graft rejection. However, its limitation is that it's less sensitive compared to the flow cytometry, which we will discuss next. Hence, it may miss low-level antibodies that could still pose a risk of rejection. Number two, the flow cytometry cross-match. So this is a lab-based physical cross-match that involves mixing the recipient serum with donor lymphocytes and then using flow cytometry to detect any antibodies bound to the donor cells. It detects both complement-dependent and non-complement binding antibodies, including low-level antibodies that might not be detected by traditional cross-matching methods. Its advantage is that it's highly sensitive and can detect very weak antibodies that could cause AMR or antibody-mediated rejection. Its limitation, however, is that it can detect clinically insignificant antibodies leading to false positive results and potentially unnecessary avoidance of a donor. The third one is the virtual cross-match. Virtual cross-match is a computer-based method where the recipient's antibody profile determined by solid phase assays like Luminex is compared against the donor's HLA typing to predict compatibility. It predicts the presence of DSAs or donor-specific antibodies without physically mixing donor cells with the recipient serum. Its advantage that it allows for rapid assessment of compatibility and its use for allocating organs quickly, especially in highly sensitized patients. Its limitation, however, is that it relies on the accuracy of the HLA typing and antibody identification, and there can be discrepancies between the predicted and actual antibody behavior. So let's summarize the key differences. In terms of sensitivity, the flow cytometry is more sensitive than the virtual cross-match, which is more sensitive than the complement-dependent cytotoxicity. In terms of speed, the virtual cross-match is the fastest. It allows for immediate decision-making. In terms of risk of overestimation, the flow cytometry can be overly sensitive, whereas the virtual cross-match depends heavily on assay accuracy. In terms of clinical relevance, complement-dependent cytotoxicity primarily identifies highly cytotoxic antibodies, whereas the flow cytometry and the virtual cross-match are more comprehensive in detecting DSAs. Each method has its specific application and they are often used in conjunction to make a more informed decision regarding donor-recipient compatibility. Thanks.